we basically said, well, actually, if we can combine them, um, we get a much better sharp ratio. You remember the sharp ratio was a measure of how good a strategy performs. It's also the risk adjusted return. So we get double the profit or double the return per unit of risk. It means we get a lot more out of for the same risk that we take when we combine these two strategies. Now, one of the things uh, before we dive into the new topic today, I just want to add a few more little thoughts on, on, on combining strategies uh, because I think this is really important. And one of the things that, that is uh, important to remember when we combine strategies is we should really combine strategies that have a very low correlation with each other. So when we have two strategies that we want to combine and they're more or less the same or quite similar, that doesn't really help us much because we can just trade one strategy. You know, it doesn't, doesn't do anything for us. But in this case, what we effectively did is we traded one here and then the other one that has a large negative return, what we did is we actually just changed the polarity of this. We changed the longs and the shorts. So if the strategy would have gone naturally long, we just say, oh, we go naturally short and vice versa. And then we actually get a strategy that is quite different. Now, the question is, how different is it really? And um, there, there's various ways to do it. One is to, um, to just, just uh, get the uh, correlation between those strategies. And one way to do this is to calculate something called the correlation coefficient. It's effectively uh, um, the correlations uh, between the two strategies. Uh, and that that's very similar to something you may have heard of from linear algebra called the covariance matrix. So it basically looks at, at how these uh, variances are related. And um, let's, let's just have a look at this. So in NumPy, you have a very uh, handy package and it's called core OF. It's, it's basically core the correlation coefficient. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to get our strategy results that we have, and we need to wrap them into these um, into these correlation coefficients. So um, you remember, we look at these, these outputs here at um, D1 and D2, or see this here, P1 and P2, they're basically, um, they're basically the returns of our strategy. And then here we say um, mean, you know, we, we, we calculate the combinations of the two, which is just a, a subject, you know, a sum or subtraction, because we the second strategy goes short, effectively all this gets reversed. And then, um, you know, we can wrap this into the covariance matrix. Now, one of the things we need to do first, we need to basically uh, generate an array of those two uh, sub strategies. And one way to do this is effectively we call this, um, I don't know, I just call it F44. <laughs> four, four. And then we go MP uh, dot array. So that creates an array. And inside that array, we create a list of those two sub arrays. So we go um, P1, uh, comma P2. And I hope they have exactly the same length, which I'm not 100% sure about. So let's see. So it does that. Now let's print F to see whether. Uh, OK, so, so it actually wraps it into an array. So let's have a look what the shape of this array is with F dot shape. OK, so it's got uh, two. Uh, two rows and 3,281 um, columns. Okay. Now what we can do is we can now put this into the correlation coefficient and run it. And what you can see here is it actually gives us um, the correlation between the two. Now on the diagonals, it's one because what this is, is actually the correlation of the strategy with itself. So this is basically the correlation. Uh, so this is on place zero, zero. So it's, um, 
uh, strategy zero correlated with strategy zero, obviously it's one. And the same here, one, one, strategy one is correlated with strategy one is obviously one. Now, this is interesting here, the, the correlations between the returns. So, so this is important. It's not the cumulative returns that we look for correlation. It's the actual underlying returns. And the correlation here is 0.03. It's only 3%. So if it's perfectly correlated, it's one. And usually my ballpark is if it's anywhere uh, below 30% correlation, it's usually quite interesting. Now, in this case, it's only 3%. So it, the correlation is extremely low. And this is the reason uh, why uh, p is effectively adding up, but the risk decreases because because the the small incremental changes in the strategy they are, they are sort of cancel each other out right mm -hmm. but the the profits that that underlie it that they're actually additive so the noise is in a way subtractive but the signal is additive uh, and and this is actually really important to remember when you combine uncorrelated strategies you're actually smoothing out the noise but you're adding the signals. So that's also called uh, in, in, in finance speak diversification. So the reason for why this works is because this underlying correlation is extremely low. If we did the same, let's say with uh, those two strategies here at the top, the um, this, this, this one here, which looks like a yellow and a blue, um, then this wouldn't actually give us much of an increase in shock ratio because uh, these strategies are extremely similar. Actually, we could just try that, right? So we've got, um, let's say, uh, 250. And, and let's say for the second one, we use 195. Okay. So if we run this, so it runs the two back tests and then it goes, takes the combinations. And you can see this, have a look at the sharp ratio now, 0 0.14. So that's that's like way worse <laughs> than before. So so really not not very interesting at all. And um so you can see how powerful this idea is of combining uncorrelated strategies. It, it actually makes the performance of what we do so much better. Okay. So this is this is really something that, that is done in professional finance all the time. But most people uh, that what we call retail traders at home, they, they often don't necessarily understand this. And, and so to really understand this already puts you into the bracket with more of the pros.